Hi there, it's Sam from poodles.co.uk. Thank you very much for joining me today. Today's project is this one and it's my little triangle pouch and it's very sweet and I was making this a, oh, a couple of weeks ago and my eldest son, my 12 year old son came into the office and I said, oh, I don't know which colour twine to put in it. Shall I put the very vanilla or all the red? And he said both, so I did. And I'm gonna show you how to make it and it's very sweet. The points at the side meet right in the middle at the top. You can't see it because it's closed, but it's a very sweet box that when finished is two by two inches, which is five by five centimeters. And you can get two of these from a full sheet of cardstock, which is pretty good. We always like that. Now, although this one is done in cherry cobbler and it's got the beautiful farmer's market paper that's there, I am doing a farmer's market one, but I wanted to do Blackberry Bliss, which you would have never in a million years have been able to see it on video. So I'm going with Very Vanilla, um, which is the colour that's in the background. And your piece of cardstock needs to be eight and a half by four inches, which is 21 and a half by 10. So you would take from the length and it's, it's the two of the widths. So that's how you're getting two from a sheet of cardstock. So first of all, we're gonna do the short side first, and I don't normally, but on the short side, you score at one and a half and at three and a half inches, which in metric is four and nine centimeters. Then you turn it round and we're gonna score fully and then we're gonna mark. So we're gonna score every two inches at two, four, six, and eight inches, which is five, 10, 15, and 20 centimeters. And then we're going to score down to the first score line at three inches and at seven inches, which in metric is seven and a half and seventeen and a half. So hopefully you can see that. There was the reason that I chose to use vanilla was hopefully so you could. So you can see that there. And what we're going to do is we're going to take that score line and join it to there. And I would have had one of the there it is. Oh, it's got my magnets left to it. <laughs> Okay, so we're going to score from there down and from there down as well and the same here and here. And now I'm going to fold and burnish these score lines. I'm just going to give them a bit of oomph. And it's such a sweet little box. This is one that you would put a delicate piece of jewellery into as a gift for somebody. Or you might, because we are between, well, we're ahead of Christmas, but, you know, probably at this point you're not making Christmas gifts anymore. You might make a hostess gift if you're maybe going somewhere for New Year. Um, and they're lovely. They're just a nice little size to put something sweet in. Okay, so the bits to remove, well, we've got these triangles that are going there and they will come into, they will bend themselves quite happily when you put the box together. I might give it a bit of a start with. Um, but they will naturally form when you make the box, so don't worry about burnishing them. But with those pointing the top, the small rectangle on the right-hand side is the bit you need to remove. So we'll take that out first. And then cut up the score lines that run by it. Oops, just wiggled slightly then. Okay, so that's your box. So you can see the section that we've removed down there and we've cut these ones up. And when you turn it over, we're gonna decorate these square parts here. And I've got two layers and I don't know if you could see on the first one, I've got a vanilla layer before the pattern paper. This is where I'm bringing in my Blackberry Bliss. So these ones measure one and seven eighths of an inch by one and seven eighths or four and a half by four and a half centimeters. So you are going to get a hint of a whisper of a border around them. And it's a good job I used vanilla cardstock because it's suddenly gone really, really dull. And I might have to put my overhead lights on because that's how dull it's gone. Hopefully that's slightly better. Okay, and then the designer series paper, this is one and three quarters of an inch square, which is four centimeters. And again, this is from the farmer's market set. I mean, you know, I'm not hugely massively keen on the pears, um, but that's okay, I can use the rest of the pack. And 
and they are just slightly nested and layered up like that. So I'm going to run some adhesive along here to close up my box. And that's the sides are going to come in. So that is the back. <coughs> so the sides in and the back finish with some on what's going to be the front of the box. And it doesn't meet up perfectly at the bottom, but that's okay. It meets up enough that, you know, I can still get my two by two inch uh, sized box. Push the sides in, and like I say, they will go with the score lines that you've put in place. There we go. I'm just gonna assist them with my fingers. There we go. So they've gone into place, and it does meet, you can see it meets right in the middle. And then I just need to grab my cropper doll. And given the last time I used it, I squashed my finger. I'm not gonna do that again. And punch some holes going through all four layers of cardstock and on the edge set, edge part, five layers. And because we don't have a Blackberry Bliss ribbon or twine, I'm gonna go with um, just the plain baker's twine, just the vanilla one. Although actually we do have the Blackberry Bliss. Ooh, ooh. Changed my mind. I'm gonna go with an in colour. Ribbon. Oh, just reach that off my shelf. That's this one. This one's Blackberry Bliss. Ooh, yes, we'll do that. Yeah, I reckon that's going to be pretty. It's either that or it's going to clash with the gingham. So we'll tie that round. Oh, yeah. I like you that. Let's get this into a bow somehow. It might be a little big, but that's okay. We can experiment. You can experiment with me. Yeah, I think that'll that's okay. I think that one worked because it had the two colours in it, but that's okay, I quite like that. And then just to finish a tiny little bit of stamping, and I'm using the teeny tiny sentiment stamp set, which is under my notes. And I was thinking of you before, I love this set, I have had so much mileage out of it. Um, and yeah, use it so frequently. I'm gonna go with friend to friend this time. I used thinking of you last time, I'm gonna go friend to friend, a little skinny block out. Some black Bliss ink and I'm going to stamp this off to see what it looks like first because Blackberry Bliss is so dark that it can almost look black which I don't want it to do. Oh, a little fibre. There we go. So I'm going to try one side and then flip it round and do the other and I prefer that one. I don't know how well you're seeing under these under my daylight bulb but that is very very black whereas that's more the same colour um, and then I need my word window punch also under my notes and I'm going to push this off to one side because I want to punch my little my bitty butterfly it's just on flying literally I'm going to pick up three pearls, put them down there, and just make her wings fly, and I'm going to use some dimensionals, actually what, I'm going to use the edges because the word window, too narrow for a dimensional, but half a one is perfect, and pop that down there at the bottom, and then the glue dot on the back of the butterfly, And off there, and a perfect little mini gift. Ideal, I think. Ideal particularly as a hostess gift. Or also for all those people who have December birthdays. Don't forget they have birthdays as well as Christmas. Anyway, I hope you like it, and I'll speak to you very soon.